This video will show you why the virtual caddy does not function or not show on your watch and how you fix the problem. 1. The watch is under tournament mode or big numbers. Under these two modes, the virtual caddy cannot be used. Please turn off them if you want to use the virtual caddy. 2. Scoring and club prompt are not turned on. If you don't turn on scoring and club prompt, the watch won't record your club performance. 3. The scorecard has less than 5 rounds information. A new watch needs at least 5 rounds information in the scorecard to do the club recommendation. If you have used Garmin watch before and recorded all the club performance in the scorecard and saved the data in your Garmin Golf app, after syncing your watch and phone, your club performance will be imported into the watch automatically. The virtual caddy then can function. 4. The watch does not receive GPS. Approach S62 needs GPS to activate the virtual caddy. Because the data will be updated on your watch every 5 meters move, please ensure the GPS is connected. 5. Your location is different from the location the watch shows. If you are not at the location the watch shows, the virtual caddy will not function. 6. When you are on the green. If you are on the green, the virtual caddy will not function because you have no need for the club recommendation at this moment. 7. The caddy icon doesn't show on the map of the watch. If you can't see caddy icon on your watch, most likely your virtual caddy is set manual. On the course map view, please press the upper right key and select Ask Caddy, you'll see the recommended club. Or you can set the virtual caddy feature automatic. Then you'll see the caddy icon under the course map. 8. Your watch and phone are not paired. We suggest that you pair your watch and phone before using virtual caddy feature, so you can receive the newest club information, even if your watch and phone are not paired. With enough club information, the virtual caddy feature can function as well. However, it cannot measure the influence of the wind on the club and do further recommendation. This is the tutorial for the virtual caddy features troubleshooting. I hope everyone can enjoy the golf more. Thanks for watching.